I'm bringing this today, we're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions of them here on our web blog, and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local, and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. We are drinking and reviewing today the Endless River of Kolsch out of the uh, Mother Earth Brewing Company down at 311 North Heritage Street in Kinston. The Mother Earth website says, take the goodness of garden grown products, the warmth of small town life, the earthy ethic of rock and roll, a deep respect for time honored craft, and you have the ingredients of Mother Earth Brewing. Born in the summer of 2008, the Mother Earth is the dream child of Stephen Hill and Trent Mooring, two guys from Kenston, North Carolina, a sweet southern town in the heart of the old tobacco belt. And for those of you who don't know, that is, Kenston is east of Raleigh down Highway 70, um, an hour or so. So of the Kolsch, the website says this is a clean, crisp beer. Kolsch offers a very slight fruity flavor and aroma. It is light gold in color and they nabbed that. With a delicate head, its light body beer appeals to nearly everyone who samples it. Expect to enjoy a slight tang in the finish. It is available year round, comes in at a 4.9 ABV. Yes. The uh, brewmaster says Kolsch is his favorite light beer style, hands down, and it's crisp, tangy, and light on the palate. Outstanding in his opinion. And we were pleased to also see on the Mother Earth site the uh, food pairings that they suggest for the uh, Kolsch. And they suggest leafy green salad with creamy dressings, broiled lobster, grilled or steamed shrimp, fried soft shell crab, and a peach cobbler. So, so, so now the NC Beer Chef's gonna kick your butt. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the, his, I'm in the turf. on his territory. I'm in the turf for the Beer Chef. So Beer Chef, get to work, and, and we want to pair some of this with something else and see what you can do with it. No. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I've got a lot of guilt. I told him already, because we need Stonger glasses for this, and we don't have it. Because if you're going to drink a Kulsch, then you have to have a Stonger glass. And we don't have And that's that. those round, it's narrow, narrow or straight like up ones. Tall boys, not Pilsner. They're yeah, straight up. Right, straight up. And we don't happen to have any. We will soon. Yeah, if we, if we drink many of these, we'll have to. We'd like to be appropriate, but that, we missed it on this one. But the retention was, yeah, kind of... They said a slight head, saying it was slight. And oh, this is slight. <laughs> delicate, they said. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's delicate, and it's, it's, delicate. it's, it's quickly disappearing. But, but, I mean, look at the clarity of this thing. It's, and they I mean, nailed the color. Yes, I mean, it's, yeah, it's got a nice pale straw color. Mmm, uh, a... I'm gonna say a white grape aroma to me. Not not dark grape. I like just, it's got a white it's got a white grape to me. I just got tanginess. No, I, I, I just I don't know what uh, I I'm just describe. getting it's, it's white grape to me. It smells like beer. <laughs> Duh. And I'm ready and I'm ready for one. So I went on to the tasting. This is great and very refreshing to me. Wow. I not a lot of not a lot of prickly mouthfeel. It's very very mild in mm -hmm. terms of carbonation. Um, very easy to drink, and it cleans up, but yet with a little aftertaste. There's a, there's a, a, a very yeah a bite a tanginess a very slight very very slight. I mean yeah, I'm not going to call it multi at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's just more of a little. Kind of a, I feel like it's like a carbonation bite towards the end. Kind of, uh, even though it's mild, it just got that little tingle. Yeah, towards the end of it. again, my biggest impression is the freshness and the. Um, it's, it's yeah. Very good. Very and you good. can see why when you, when they talk about the food and the beer matchup for this, that they have a lot of fish. Yeah, this beer would uh, any any strong beef or heavily seasoned food would, 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 over, would overwhelm yeah. this beer. Yeah, this would be this is good, and nice and light. Not that I am not going to claim any <laughs> any sort of knowledge on a food beer. You know, we're it, learning, but we're getting there. But it's uh, definitely with what they said. I can totally agree with that. Uh, this is going down very well. Um, hmm. I could probably settle in for this, and at 4.9, I could settle in for a few. Oh, you, could, you, you, could settle, settle you could settle in for a quarter. I could settle in for a few. I think I'm going to go growler worthy on this. I like this beer. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. What do you think? Um, I, I, I believe it's a bomber. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's very good. Uh, very nice presentation. Uh, it's very easy to drink. It, it's not necessarily a summer beer, but you could 
totally sit on the, sit on the patio yeah, it, right. and you know just forget all your woes by having this beer with in your hand. It, but, it is available year round. It's not. Oh, yeah. It fits the summer styles. It's very appropriate for summer, but it's not a seasonal. It's nope. available year nope. round out of Mother Earth. But I could see how you'd want to have it. <laughs> so yeah. As nice. we've always said, uh, make sure you get a chance to try the beer for yourself. Form your own opinion. See what you think of the Mother Earth product and the Endless River Kolsch. Uh, either get down to Kenston or they're widely distributed now, at least uh, to the middle part of the state and and west of, of Raleigh. I'm not sure they get how far they go, but they've got a good distribution network going. And they'd love to hear what you think. We always look forward to hearing what you think. That's the beer dog. That's the beer dog. <laughs> and uh, again, remember, drink local, keep your beer dog North Carolina. And until next time, we'll catch you later, guys.